Hey guys, so for the past two years I've been doing like a yearly wrap-up video and this year I thought I would still do the same because it's nice to always look back and kind of see the highlights of your year. And actually this company Munchpack uh, contacted me and asked me if I would eat on camera and they would send me free food and being a broke college student of course I agreed to that. Cheddar popcorn, let's go! Because my memory is a bit poor I'm just gonna go through my iPod and see what kind of photos I took. So 2016, what comes to mind first? I started off the year in Finland during my winter break and towards the end of the month, I came back to uni. I brought back a bunch of salmiakki for my friends to try out. As you know, me and Young made a video about Korean trying Finnish food. One of them being salmiakki. Yeah, we filmed that. And I did give salmiakki to a lot of my other friends and their reactions are pretty hilarious. And then, oh yeah, of course I'm scuppin' my dog every day. We did get a little bit of snow actually. I was not expecting. In Finland, of course, there was tons of snow. And I came back and I was actually really missing it because in Finland it was like negative 20 degrees, I believe. And when I came back here, there was no snow. And I was like, oh, this does not feel like winter anymore. Where's the snow? Where's winter? And on one day, it appears it snowed about that much. Definitely very strong pepper flavor. End of January, I already took a trip to Durham which is in England. So it was a very cute small college town. I mean, they have like a university there and it wasn't a very big city, but it was cute. Oh, and I also took Chinese classes. So the accommodation I was in, one of the RAs, so one of the older students who was like looking after us, um, she, her degree was Chinese. So she set up like kind of free casual Chinese classes and me and the guy living next to me decided to attend them and that was actually really fun. Previous to that I had zero knowledge of Chinese, at, like I didn't know anything and since it's such a popular language I thought you know it would be good to just go there and kind of like get a general idea. February 7th I went to a Chinese New Year party which was a club night, very unlike me. I think last year I went to the club three times I had a rule of once per semester, because I'm not really the clubbing type. Oh, Valentine's Day. Me and my friend, who is now my roommate, who I live with, we went hiking up Arthur's Seat, which is an extinct volcano. So we did that. Oh, and I think I went to an orchestra that evening. And then a few days later, one of my friends from Finland who studies in England came up to visit me, because I had like a free week or something, and we decided to go to Stirling and visit the castle there. Both of us are kind of like history buffs, so we love visiting different historical sites and castles and things like that. Um, wow, I, I just, I'm scrolling through my photos and I was very social last year. This year, I was very social last semester. Oh my goodness, like I went to all kinds of events, like there's this Chinese event I attended. Uh, me and the two girls that are now my roommates, we went up to Loch Ness. That was a, like a good three, four hour bus ride. Yeah, we stayed at the city of Inverness which is way up north. Oh, I have attended the YouTube Creator Day event. I did talk to this one girl from Glasgow, but I didn't really end up making any lasting friendships, which is typical of me. Thailand, I went to a Thai event. Oh, that, that was actually really fun. They put up a nice play. All the Thai people from my university, they have a society and they like set up this event with like food and performances. It was, it was really enjoyable. I like the like cultural events like that. And then, oh, I went to the zoo. Oh, and then my, one of my friends here, he had a cat who had kittens, so I got to play with like a couple week old kittens. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then we took a trip up to St. Andrews. That was amazing. St. Andrews, it's a really picturesque town. It's very cute. I went to London as well. Right, because in April I had like a month off, so I went for two nights to London. I did talk about this in one of my videos. Saw Phantom of the Opera met a YouTube friend called TJ. She's amazing, I love her so much. Guys, check out her channel. Oh, my favorite part, Harry Potter Studios. That is something I had been waiting to see for years, legit years. And I got back to Finland and oh, my heart was settled. I got to be there for three weeks. I got to go to my bay, Adam Lambert's concert. Oh my goodness. Adam Lambert is someone I have been obsessed with myself for since, I'm gonna say 2009. And then I went back to university. It was very strange the second semester because it was set up like I had the whole April off and then in May I only had two exams. So I essentially flew back 
to take two exams. It was a little lonely too because the moment I came back here um, from Finland, my best friend, Young, he flew back to Korea to do the military service for two years. So that was a very emotional time. And I was staying here for like a week or so after my exams and I legit had nothing to do. Like actually had nothing to do. Cause everyone obviously who had finished their exams flew back home. So either I was gonna bother people that are studying or I was just gonna hang out by myself. So that was a very interesting time. And yeah, and then I flew back to Finland and another million pictures of Sydney, which, you know, <laughs> very cute. Oh yeah, and then I got to go to Queen and Adam Lambert's concert and my mom got me tickets for them for last Christmas, like VIP tickets. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, mom, this is like the best gift ever. Thank you so much. Like that day was like one of my favorite days ever. Adam Lambert singing Queen songs, 100% recommend. These are Japanese, so. I actually, I love anything with chocolate on them. I will absolutely love. So, oh, they come in like individual packages. So much plastic, just give me the dang chocolate. Mmm. Oh, this is good. This is some quality chocolate here. Share happiness with Pocky. I am very happy. Definitely are sharing the happiness. Okay, beginning of June, it appears. Oh yeah, I went to Shanghai. Now that was a very, very spontaneous trip. It was like during April, I suppose, when I was still here, right, right before I went to London. I suppose I was looking at flights to go back to Finland. I was kind of browsing and I saw they had deals to Asia. I contacted my friend that I was gonna be living with next year. She lives in Shanghai. So I called her up, told her to come to my room and I was like, you know what? Are you gonna be home this summer? Can I come visit you? And she was like, yeah, absolutely. So I just, I just bought the tickets. It was super spontaneous and it turned out to be one of the best trips of my entire life. 100% worth it. It was so much fun. Essentially, I flew into Shanghai, we visited a lot of sites in and around Shanghai, and then we took a train up to Nanjing, and took a train from there to Beijing, which was amazing. I got to check off so many bucket list things, like the freaking Great Wall of China. I would have never, I never thought in my whole life that I'd ever visit the Great Wall of China, but there you go, I did it this summer. And then I think I was in Finland for like a week, and then I headed over to the States to visit my family. My sister and my mom were already there, and me and my dad went there to be with them and the rest of my mom's side of my family, so they live in New York, so we flew there. We decided, again, quite spontaneously, to do a road trip, and we weren't 100% certain what we were gonna see while we went there, but we just started driving, and we're gonna see where we end up. So where did we end up? Oh, we went to Virginia, and oh, Gettysburg, which is Pennsylvania? And we stayed for like a week or so in Florida, in St. Augustine, amazing i haven't been to florida since i was 12 so this is my second time there and florida is so freaking hot but i love florida our next stop was new orleans and then we went to baton rouge baton rouge it was actually very interesting because this summer in the states they were having a lot of problems a lot of tension especially with between like the whole cops African Americans and like black people like there's a lot of tension between that in the south especially in Baton Rouge when we were there they had just had a shooting a couple days before so there's a lot of protests a lot of angry people as well because we went up to Memphis in Memphis they were having huge protests like they were like people had like taking up the entire bridges like there were like hundreds and hundreds of people protesting you could tell there's a lot of tension in the area and it was very interesting to be there and witness that at the time. Did a lot of trekking around in the forests and saw a real life wild alligator. And that, yeah, I stopped by Alabama, Mississippi. And then we went to see Abraham Lincoln's birth home in Kentucky and went to these, the national park, the Jewel Cave. It's the longest cave system in the whole world, which is in Kentucky. That was really awesome to see too. And then we got back to New York and I turned 21. I feel really old, but yeah. How did I spend my 21st birthday? Me and my sister went to the roller skate rink. So we went roller skating around and that was awesome. It was us and the little children. So made me feel young again. Yeah, then I went back to Finland, was reunited with my child, Asbury. Not a huge candy person, but you know what? I'll give it a go. I hope these are sour. I like sour candy. They're not, that's disappointing. 
tastes like artificial raspberry bubble gum. Not really my thing. So I'm gonna hide the flavor with, it says here, Prince Polo Milk Chocolate Confection. I hope this will hide the flavor of that awful raspberry. And it's like a chocolate waffle, much better, much better. And yeah, before I came back to start up my second year of university, I met up with another YouTube friend called Tanya who runs the channel My Swami Finland and she also has a Spanish channel. I've met up with her like a handful of times before. So yeah, we actually went and had a picnic in Helsinki. Oh yeah, I went to Tallinn for a day trip with my friend to spend some time with her before coming back. And oh yeah, I spent a day with my best friend Heidi. If you remember her, she's been in some of my videos. She has a horse or a pony and I spent the day at the stables with her and she took me riding and stuff, that was fun. And then I had to say bye to my child and fly back here to start my second semester. No, not second semester, second year of university. And yeah, oh, my friend got a kitten too, so I've been babysitting that. It was in one of my videos, you can see. We did some touristy things because I met some new people who were on exchange here, and of course my sister and another friend from Finland who came here um, hadn't done a lot of things here. And oh, we went to a rugby game. Never seen a rugby game before. And yeah, there's just Halloween. I dressed up as a doll. That was like a last minute. I legit, there was a few hours before the party. I, I was like YouTubed, easy Halloween makeup. That's how I would do it. My dad came to visit me. That was a fun weekend. We again climbed up Arthur Sea, which is the volcano, extinct volcano, not active. And went to the YouTube creator day number two. That was really fun. Dragged my sister there as well. And Oh yeah, there's the Christmas market. The Christmas market in Edinburgh is pretty cool. They set up a lot of rides, a lot of booths. They don't really have something like that in Helsinki, so it's really fun to go to every year, even though it's quite expensive. We had our own makeshift Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Went to all the different castles or in and around Edinburgh during St. Andrew's Day because they had free tickets for them. And with my Swedish class, we had to perform. We had the wheel, so like a small, Christmas party before Christmas and my Swedish class had to perform Santa Lucia So we had amazing white gowns with like candles and we walked around singing in Swedish Lots of free food. It was awesome. So yeah, I still have some chocolate left. I have some Hungarian chocolate and this looks like it's Chinese rice cake. I got a link for a discount code So you get like a certain percentage off of these boxes so if you are interested in delivering food monthly to your house, you can use the discount code. It will be in the description box. This is 2016 coming to a close. Hopefully 2017 treats me as well as 2016 has. And I guess that just about concludes this video. Till next time.